remaining guys, please use the password as 6443. Okay, everybody able to see my desktop? I shared my desktop. Only, no, 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 password will be changed. ID, ID is the same. Only the password will change, then you will do the time, uh, password, okay? So, this today's class is double four three. So, tomorrow's class will change. Okay, one you are able to see my desktop. Vruddhi? Yeah, Vruddhi, are you able to see my desktop? Malika? Malika, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Are you able to see my desktop? Yes. And don't, don't operate my system, okay? Yeah. Vruddhi. So, who is SAP and what is the use of Vivo? SAP is the vendor. Vivo is the tool. What is the purpose of this tool, Ruddhi? Yes, it is. A dynamic business intelligence reporting solution. Okay, the organization they may have the database system or data warehouse system or SAP or Wala systems or personal files. What the Bureau will do? It's going to act as an interface. Yep, one. Exactly, your source system, the enterprise source system that we can say data source, which contains the enterprise data, whatever it may be. It may be an RSAP source system or SAP source system, we don't bother. The information, the enterprise data is available in the source level. End user doesn't know how to communicate then the SAP business object is going to act as a interface and for their purpose we are creating the reports. Yeah, uh, Malika, it has three characteristic features. What are those? Three characteristic features. Money. Analyzing, querying the required information from source system as per the end user requirement, and reporting that is nothing but representation, and analyzing in multidimensionally. These are the three characteristic features it is going to perform. Okay. Ruddhi, instead of providing the entire source information to all the end users, what we are creating here? Very good. Yeah, yeah, there are different synonyms for semantic layer. We are calling as universe. So, what the universe and what is it is going to maintain? Exactly. It's a partial representation of your source structure. So, what we are going to finally maintain in here? Nothing but the respective reports requirements. We are creating a structure here. <coughs> so, database level, we have a, a lot of information. 
end user may don't require that all the information. Sales purpose, we are going to create a sales universe, which is going to maintain completely sales structure. Purchase people purpose, we are going to create a purchase universe, which is going to maintain completely purchase structure. Like that, we are going to maintain a, a universe concept, nothing but structure we are maintaining, the respective requirement created structure we are maintaining, then from that we are going to design the report. Okay, so that is the main responsibility of BO. First, maintaining the universe concept, then creating the report. These are the two tasks. Okay, Vruddhi, universe creation will be done by whom? Very good. The designer role. And reports creation? Report developer role. Okay. Yesterday, I have given one source system, that is, Varaki source system. For its purpose, what we created? We created one universe. Okay. If you want to create a universe, we need to follow what is that? Development life cycle for creation of the universe. What are the stages? One A. Plan. Implementation. Testing. Deployment. And evolvement. So, I am the end user. I have given my source information. Okay. So, what you have to do in the prepare phase? Malika. Whenever the end user is giving his source information and requirements, we need to create a universe. So, if you want to create a universe, then you need to follow this development life cycle. So, in the prepare phase, what you have to do? Malika or Vani? Very good. Know about the end user source system first. Know about the end user source information first. What you have to understand in the end user source system? What is the what is the first step? What is the database? And what are the tables? How many tables he has? And relations between them. The complete information about the source you have to understand clearly. Then analyze this. Anybody? Exactly. Know about the requirements clearly then? Exactly. Take the distinct tables list. The requirements related distinct tables we need to take here. That is the analyze phase. Then the plan phase. How many universes are needed? Okay. So yesterday we created one example. What is the For variety source system. We created one universe. Okay. In the same way, today I am going to give some more information. Yesterday, one universe we created. Uh, please mute your phone. <coughs> so, his name is Motor Enterprise. Okay. So, he is the end user and he is giving their source information to us. And he has a MS Access database. He is having nearly 20 to 30 tables he has. The tables information I will tell to you. 
one to the he has the kind of information, reason information, client, sale, showroom, model, maker, style. These are all the main tables he is maintaining. Okay, one of the end user, his name is Motor Enterprise. He has the MS Access database and he is maintaining nearly 20 to 30 tables. These are the tables. So this is the source information. This is the source information and he is expecting the report. One report, he wants to see the information like country ID and country name. Second report, he wants to see region ID and region name. Third report, he wants to see client ID, client name. Fourth report, he wants to see country name, country name and region name, then client name and sales total. Okay. These are the four reports he is expecting. So, end user giving the source information and requirement. Okay, Malika, you are the English designer. Okay. You are the English designer, then what you have to do? You have to create a universe first. Okay. You have to create a universe, then you need to follow one development life cycle. Development life cycle for creation of universe. What are the phases? Prepare, analyze, and plan. So you are the prepare phase. You are the universe designer, you are going to create a universe. Prepare phase, what you have to do? Yeah. What information we have to understand? What is the database? How many tables he has? What are the tables he has? And the relation. As I mentioned above, in this example, when you will contain which database? The database is the MS Access database. He is having nearly 20 to 30 tables he has. 20 to 30. And what are the tables? Those are the above mentioned tables. These are the main tables he has, which is loading the data. Okay. Then relation I will tell you. Relation is nothing but they are having one to many and many to one. Either one to one. Once you understand this information clearly, okay, that is prepared. Buddhi. Then analyze phase. What you have to do in the analyze phase? Very good. Then I have given the report requirements here. Then you have to think where is the country ID? Where is the country name? From the source system, exactly. From the source system, there is a table name country table which is going to maintain the, the country information. So, if I want to satisfy the first report, I need to take the country table. Then, second report, very good, region table. Third report, very good, one second. Then, warning, see the fourth report and tell me the table name. She already given uh, first three reports are related to country, region and the client. Tell me the fourth report requirement. What tables I need? It. Very good. Okay. Very good. Exactly. Yes. Sales total is coming from the sales total. Okay. Malika. Now you have the all the four report requirements respective table then. Then tell me the distinct tables out of all those tables. 
very good. So that is the analyze phase. Know about the requirements clearly. Then take the respective distinct tables. Respective distinct tables. What are those? Country, region, client, sale. So this is the way whenever the end user giving to the source information and the requirements, then these are the main two phases. Understanding his source information clearly, understanding the requirements clearly. Then plan phase, here we are going to decide how many universes are needed. But in the generally, it depends upon the requirements. If the, all the requirements are related to single business analyst purpose, or single domain and single database purpose, we can create one universe. If all the requirements are related to different, different domains and different, different people and different, different databases, then we have to decide how many universes are needed. But here, only one universe is enough. enough to create the motor enterprise. Okay. To motors, we decided only one universe is enough. These are the main three phases. Prepare phase, analyze phase, then plan phase. Then the implementation. What is the use of this phase, uh, Malika? the actual creation of the universe. Okay. What is the tool you have to use for universe creation? Very good. Universe designer tool. Okay. We have we have the plan, we have to create a universe. Okay. But yesterday example that is Oracle end user. He has given the direct access to us. For Oracle, what we created, he has given the direct access, authentication he has given. That is, start and password is the tiger. He has given the access directly to his database system. But this end user very clever. For motors, he is having the MS access database, but he is not giving the direct database access. He is giving as a file format. One database file format he is sending his information. MDB Microsoft Database File Format. And you are giving the file format. Yesterday he has the direct database access. I connected in his creation directly. But he has it within the motor motor enterprise, he is not giving the direct access, he is giving the file format. If the source is a file, I can't create a universe directly. If the source is a file, then we need to create ODBC connection. Any idea what is ODBC? Any idea? Ruddhi, Mallika, Vani. Any idea what is ODBC? <laughs> okay, the same thing here also. So, so, ODBC is nothing but it is a connection where I can connect to the any type of the source system. Whether it may be a database or it may be a file or it may be a cube, whatever it may be, we can create a connection. So, how to create this connection? End user giving the source information as a file, motors and motors MDB file. So, first I have saved in my D drive. The D drive I have placed that file. Okay, now the source information is available in my D drive. Then we have to create a ODBC. How to create new ODBC connection? Yeah, exactly. Control panel, yes. Administrative tool. There you have the option data sources for ODBC. 
if you click on that automatically odbc administrator window will be appear vani hello vani yeah please click on my start menu you can access my system just please click on my start menu thank you please type the command m s t s c just enter so that is the ip address please connect and provide the username suresh and the password is the support and click on okay so now you enter into the rudhi please mute your phone so go to the start menu and first i will show the the source file i have saved in the d drive go to the new volume d d drive i will show that file uh, can you see the guys uh, that is the file motors mdb file yeah that is the source file i have saved don't open it i don't think to open that okay <laughs> Just that is the file. Okay, I have placed in the D drive. He sent me, and that I, I saved in the D drive. Okay, now I need a ODBC connection. Then only I can create a universe. How to create ODBC connection? Go to the control panel, right hand side, control panel, right hand side. You have the control panel. Under that, administrative tools. Yes, administrative tool, data sources. Yes, click on the data sources. This is the ODBC administrator window. Okay, here we are creating a a ODBC connection. Please click on add. Then choose the driver. What driver? Depend upon your file extension. What is that? Microsoft Access driver for. what type it is not mdb okay then finish so we are choosing the driver first then give the name as vruddhi vruddhi motor enterprise okay vruddhi motors okay you have given the name but when this name will be valid we have to map the d drive file how to map that d drive file click on the database select option Select. No, no, no. That is enough. Only system. Here, this is the data. The select option is there. Click on the select. Where I have saved? Which drive? Then see the automatic left hand say your file is appearing there. Select that. Okay. Now. whatever you are provided the rudhi motors that will be valid when you have mapped that name to that file then it the name will be valid click on okay so odbc connection is ready click on okay so whatever the end user has sent that to file we create a odbc successfully in the odbc administrator window we created the add my Microsoft Access Driver for MDB. Please don't access. Went to it. Microsoft Access Driver. Then click on Add button. Sorry. Then provide the name. I have given as example Rudhi name. Rudhi Motors. When this name will be valid under a database. Select option. Please use the. Please map the that file. Motor MDB. Click on OK. ODBC connection is ready. ODBC connection is ready. OK. Now I can create a universe. Malika. Hello, Malika. Yeah. So ODBC connection is created by Vani. OK. Then. you have to create a universe now you can create a universe please click on the start menu the start menu what is the tool we are going to use for universe creation very good click on that 
Yes. Click on that universe designer. We are going to create a universe. If you install a software in your system, you can provide your authentication. But here I didn't get any password. I actually click on OK. Now you entered into the universe designer. Do you want to create a new one or do you want to open an existing one? Very good. How to create new one? New one. So what is this? Universe parameters window. It contains different tabs. The first tab is mandatory. The first step of the universe creation. We are in the definition tab. Ruddhi, what are the mandatory parameters we need to provide? Okay. Very good. First, provide the name. Name is mandatory. Provide the name as Vruddhi Motors. The universe name. Okay. Then, what I need? A connection. So, Bebo connection. Create new one. Create new one. How to create new one? Very good. Please next. Then, the important question for the interview. What is that? Connection types. Very important for the interview. How many connection types are with the? Very good. What are those? Personal. Okay. Out of three connection types, which one is default here? Very good. Default is the secure one. Very good. Then, connection name. You can provide the connection name. Whatever the name you are going to provide, that name only will be appear in the first window. Provide the name as Microsoft Vruddhi. Because then it's actually related to Microsoft. So, Microsoft Vruddhi we have provided. Yesterday, Varaki end user, that is the reason we provide the Varaki name. Now, this time it is under taxes. It is related to Microsoft. Then we have to choose the driver here. Yes. Yesterday, he is a Varaki end user. That is the reason we started Varaki client. No? Now, this is a Microsoft. Any version you can take, either Access 2007 or 2010, anything you can take. No problem. Expand the MS Access 2002 or 2003 or 2007. Anyone you can just take and it take the respective drive. Yes. Then, next. I said we have taken the Oracle. Okay. Now this is the Microsoft MS Access file. Do we need any username and password? He didn't get any username and password. He has given a file. Okay. We don't need username and password. But I need that ODBC connection. Yesterday that is a SCART username. I provide the SCART username for Oracle. But here he has given the file. Then I created a ODBC connection. Where that ODBC connection will be appear under the data source name. If you drop, if you go down, then what the name we have given uh, one is? Okay, oh, don't wait. wait. <laughs> so if you go slowly, only it will be appear. Vruddhi Motasa, one second. Yeah, see that uh, Malika. Yeah. So, so please select the Vruddhi motors. Whatever the ODBC connection you created, then you have to select that here. Next. Next, finish. Again, next. Finish. What the name we have given for the connection name? Microsoft Vruddhi. The same name will be appear here. Click on OK. This is the home page window. Am I right? Once we enter into the home page window, what we have to do? First save. File, click on save. File, click on save. Save button. Okay. That is the another end user person. His name is Motor Enterprise. Okay, so two universes we created. What are those? One for the Varaki, 
one for the motor center prize. Okay, two investors. Only first step only we completed. Here I created one universe. Here I created a one universe. Here I completed only first step. Here also I completed only first step. I am going to give the third user. Third end user. His name is a extreme enterprise. I that you can do in the homework. Extreme enterprise. He is also similar to your motor enterprise. He is also giving his source information as a file format. Extreme dot mdb. I have saved in the D drive. If you go to the D drive, there I have placed the his source information. Can you see the Extreme dot mdb? Alika, extreme dot mdb. Okay, so that is the source file I have placed there. Then your homework, guys, please create a universe from this extreme dot mdb. Rudhi, clear? I have placed a source file on the D drive. He is, it is a file, so you can't create a directly universe. First, what we create? What we need to create? We need to create a ODBC connection. Then only you have to create a universe. Same as it is of your motors. Your homework is please do for the extreme enterprise. That is the homework. Then tell me. Yeah, tell me. Yes, exactly. It contains tables, okay? It's a database file. Exactly. All the tables they combine, they are giving a sort, a format, MDB. It's a database file format. It contains all the source table information. Exactly, yes. Yes, that is the reason we created a connection to that. Okay, so that is the your homework and the fourth one. One more end user, his name is Fashion. Fashion Enterprise. That is the default connection. We don't need to create any new connection. The e fashion connection name given by Vivo directly. Business object giving this uh, connection directly. We can use this connection directly. Okay. File. Close. Okay. Malika. Please create a new universe. Provide the name as Ruby Fashion. Okay. Now, this time, no need of any new connection. No ODBC, no connections. That is default connection given by the business objects. You can drop down and you can use that. E-fashion. Scroll down. If you search, there is a E-fashion. Yeah. Yes, E-fashion. Okay. That is the default connection. No need of any new connections and anything. We can just use that connection and we can create a universe. Click on OK. That is the first step. Completed. File and save. Save it. OK. Now. So, four universes completed. Four universes. First step only completed. OK. Then, the fifth one. Island. Island resource and Vivo also giving one more default connection that is club connection given by the business object. We can use that connection also directly. So first to close the existing universe. 
Malika. Don't close the entire session. We don't need the entire session closed. Only the respective universe in Chikra that is enough. If you open any universe, let's see here. That is the actual universe. If you close the entire session, that is the entire session closed. If you want to close this particular universe, then close that. Okay, now create one more file. Create new one. Now, this time, what is the name? Ruddhi Island. Provide the universe name as Ruddhi Island. Okay, now, drop down the connection. I told you default the connection given by the BO. We can use that one. Club. Club is there. Yes. This is also one default connection given by the EO. Click on OK. Now we can enter into the home page window directly. Okay. What we have to do once we enter, first save. File, click on save. So totally, how many use we created with this? Very good. We created five universes. All those five universes, how many steps we completed? Only first step. So that is the first step of the universe creation. What is that? Universe parameters window. It contains seven tabs. Definition tab. Summary tab. Strategy, Control, SQL, Link, and the param. So, which one information we have provided mandatory? Which tab information? <coughs> so, the mandatory tab is nothing but definition. What we provided there? We provide the definition tab, name, and the connection. These are the two mandatory parameters in the first step of the universe creation. Some interviewers are asking about the remaining tabs also. We have a look on the remaining tabs also. Okay. You entered into the home page window of the universe, Malika. You entered here in the home page window. If I want to get back, get back my first window, the first step, how can I get back? Go to the file menu. If you want to get back your first step, file, see the option? No, no, no. You already open. See the name, name of the universe. Can you see the name of the universe? It is the Vruddhi Island. So this universe is already open. Okay. If I want to get back my first step, file, Parameters. There is the icon parameters. Yes. You can get back the first step of this universe. Okay. We got the our first window. What is the universe parameters window? What we provided there? The name and the connection are the mandatory parameters. Description is just for a comment. What purpose you are creating? It's not mandatory. Prime purpose, I am creating the universe. See the remaining tab. Summary tab. Strategy. Control. SQL. Link. Parameters. See the second tab information, Malika. Click on the second tab. Definition tab is mandatory. Default remaining tabs will come automatically. See the information. Don't worry the system date. So, that is system date. Who entered into the universe designer? Which authentication? Administrator. So, his name is showing. And when it is modified and who is going to modify. And you see that at last it is giving the all the statistics. Ruddhi, everything is showing as zero. Why? Exactly. We are not created anything. Just, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing we created. Just to be entered into the home page window. That is the reason. 
the, the complete statistical information is showing as zero. So what is the use of the summary tab? I can see the information when it is created, by whom it is created, how many times it is revised, all the statistical data will be appeared here. After completion of the universe, this tab is useful for seeing the information. How many classes I created, how many objects I created, how many tables I have created, how many joints I have created, the complete statistical data will be appear here. Okay? This is the useful information after completion of the universe. Then, strategy. What is the meaning of strategy? Strategy is tab. Generally, what is the meaning of strategy? Yes. The structural way, the structural way of creation of objects. I told you what is the object? What is the object? Exactly. So, class is nothing but table and uh, class contains the objects, nothing but table contains the field. So, fields are nothing but objects here. For objects, see the strategy, what is default has taken? Built-in standard renaming. So, why that strategy has taken database level? Let us suppose, Ruby has sent in one database, she, uh, the table name as the customer table name. In that, she has the information, customer underscore ID, one field name. While I am creating my object, if I display the name as the customer ID, Will the end user will understand what is the meaning of custody? He will not understand if you are providing as it is name. So that is the reason we are going to rename it. So if you want to rename the names while creating the objects, that is the strategy. Built-in standard renaming. We have to follow this strategy to provide the business technology names of your object creation. And the, see the join. Malika, for join, what is the strategy I have? Default link. Yeah. Is a strategy for join. But exactly. So the name is edit manually. Why it is taken as manually? Let us suppose I have a database level table A and a table B. They don't require the join in the database level, let us suppose. Okay? But here uh, Vruddhi has given the requirement, one information from the table A and the second information from the table B. And then what I need, must and should, I need to create a join between the table A and the table B. Then only I will get the information. So if you want to create a join based on your requirement, then must and should have the, the join strategy that is edit manually. If you have this strategy only, you have to create this join. So that is the way, that is the reason, default it is edit, edit manually. And the table, we are not going to touch the any table name, just taking the as it is name. So that is the strategy we have to follow for object and joint creation. Then the control step. See the control step contain the information. Defaultly, the limit execution, the limit, how many rows you want to fetch from database. That limit you can limit here. See the default how many rows it is displaying. You can retrieve only 5000. If you if you generate a report, then automatically it will display only 5000 rows only from the data range. If you want to increase, you can change the limit here. As per your requirement, you can change here. Not only the rows limit, the query execution time. How much time my query should run on the database? The execution time also we are giving. These are the some controlling your system resources. And SQL, see the SQL operations. We are giving some permissions to allow using the those SQL operations while creating the report. Links term advantage would be created one universe. One he created one universe, but I want to see the both the information in a single universe, then I can use the link tab. So dynamic link more than one universe. 
and the parameter series are all these ANSI standards. These are all the ANSI standards. If you want to follow, select that parameter, make it as a instead of no. If you want to follow, make it as a yes. These are all the ANSI standards. So all these tasks will come automatically, but only what information we have to provide mandatory, that is mandatory. That is the first step of the universe creation. So, for those five universes, first step is completed. Okay? And your homework, the third one, please create a universe from the extreme.mdb file, which is placed in the D drive. Please create an ODBC connection and please complete the first step of the universe creation. So that's about the today's class. Any query? Tell me. Could the Yeah, I mean sorry, yeah, tell me, tell me. Wani, yeah, tell me. Is it Wani or Malika? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think somebody is asking. Uh, Ivan or uh, Stepan? Uh, I, I will give that. That I will discuss with you. Wait, okay. Any other? Vruddhi, Vruddhi already created one username for you, please use your username. Don't use other another, okay? Uh, I already created your name, Ruddhi, so you can use your username. You can try with that. Same password, only the username has changed. And Vani, you can use the Toby username, okay? And Malika, you can use my Suresh username. Vani, you can use Toby and Malika, you can use Suresh username. Okay. Any other? So, please complete that exercise and Stephen and Ivan, I will call you later, okay? I am going to send the files. Please come to the Skype. I am going to...